guys. What? I'm trying to talk to the camera. Oh. Ignore me. Oh. Hi guys. Welcome to my first Halloween makeup tutorial of 2019 spooky season. This Halloween makeup look was inspired by artist Dorothy on Instagram. Here's a picture of the really deep, dark, black and red smoky eye. I really took her idea of doing the veining around the eyes and kind of went crazy with it and incorporated some of the blood on my lips as well and there on my nose. It was actually really simple to achieve. It's basically just a really deep, dark, black smoky eye that I incorporated some red around the perimeters. And then I used one face paint, the red face paint, to create all the little uh, zigzagging lines and veining around the eyes and then I used this um, Mayron coagulated blood gel for all of the blood and all you have to do is kind of dip it around your face and prompt it to go where you want it to with like a q-tip and then you can even use your fingers to really spread it all out and disperse the product all over like I did here on my mouth so I use minimal products to achieve this look I think I used uh, a black eyeshadow a red eyeshadow white eyeshadow and red face paint and this fake blood. So really, you can use most products from your own makeup collection that you already probably have and then maybe just grab some fake blood, some red face paint at the Halloween makeup store or order some online and you're good to go. Uh, let me know if you like this Halloween makeup look, if it's something that you would do for Halloween 2019, if it's something you would wear to a Halloween party. It's definitely super eye-catching and I think if you were wearing it to go trick-or-treating or to a party, you're gonna be the focus of the room. Please subscribe and like this video and see you on the next one. Bye! So I'm going to start off this spooky makeup look by filling in my eyebrows. You could also choose to conceal them and cover them up with a glue stick. That would also make this look even spookier. I chose to do my brows as well to give this a more glam feel. It's glam but scary. And then I'm going to go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow primer. This is going to provide a really nice base for this deep dark smoky eye. This primer is also going to ensure that this eyeshadow look is going to last all night, especially if you're planning on wearing it to a Halloween party or to go trick or treating. Now that my eyelids are nice and primed, I'm going to go in with a matte white shade to set the brow bone. And for this step, I'm using the ABH Pro Pigment Palette Volume 3. I'm applying shade C1 with a Morphe Y22 brush to my brow bone and then blending it down into my crease. Now the next step is to lay down the foundation for this smoky eye. So for the red, I'm going to use this matte red shade from the Norvina Volume 3 palette on a Morphe Y19 brush this time. And I'm going to diffuse this all in the crease, really focusing it in the socket of my crease and blending it up. And then to really pack on some more color and pigment, I'm going in with a different brush. This one is the e.l.f. crease brush. So you're just going to want to keep going in with that red shade in your crease and diffusing it out until you're happy with the pigment. Because after we apply the black shade on top, a lot of that red pigment is going to be lost and we want some of it to still be peeking through. So keep building and building until you're happy with the pigment. And now we want to add some depth and darkness to this look. It is a Halloween makeup tutorial after all. So I'm going back in with my Norvina Volume 1 palette and I'm using this matte black shade D5 on this Morphe E28 brush. It's another blending brush and I'm applying it again in my crease over top of where I applied the red but not blending it up quite as far as I did with that red shade. Now to make sure this smoky eye is extra deep and sultry, I'm going to go in with a gel liner and just smudge it all over my eyelid. The gel liner I'm using for this tutorial is the NYX Gel Liner and Smudger, and I'm just going to apply this all over my eyelid and blend it up into the crease, stopping where I was applying that black. To make sure there are no harsh lines where that gel liner meets the eyeshadow, I'm going to use another synthetic blending brush. This is the Morphe E36 and I'm just going to diffuse it the best I can in my crease and then go in with a little more black eyeshadow around the edges to really diffuse it out and soften it up. 
And then after blending out that black eyeshadow, I lost a little bit of the red again, so I wanted to go back in and blend it out all around the perimeter of the smoky eye and focus it heavily on the inner corner of my eye where I wanted it to be the deepest and darkest. And then to finish off this smoky eye look, I'm highlighting the brow bone a final time with more of that white eyeshadow. I'm going to apply some face makeup. Starting off with my foundation, I'm using the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Full Coverage Foundation in the shade Vanilla. And this foundation is going to work great for me for this tutorial because it is one or two shades lighter than my skin right now. So it's going to give me a more ghostly look. And then to bring that same brightness to my under eyes, I'm going in with their Can't Stop Won't Stop Concealer. And I'm mainly using the shade Alabaster with just a touch of vanilla. Then I'm going straight in to set that concealer with the NYX Mineral Matte Finishing Powder. And I'm using the shade Light Medium on a Morphe Tapered Brush. This is their M438. And I'm just applying a good amount of this product to the under eyes. And then I'm going to use it to also set the entire face. So I'm going in with this e.l.f. Primer Infused Bronzer in the shade Perpetually Tan on an e.l.f. Blending Brush. And I'm going to apply it to the perimeters on my face, especially on the underside of my cheekbone, to my forehead, the sides of my nose, underneath of my lip, and on my jawline and chin. Now migrating back to my eyes once again, I'm going to finish off this smoky eye look and the process for doing the bottom lash line is pretty much the same as the upper lash line. I'm going to take more of that NYX gel matte liner and smudge it in my inner waterline on the upper and lower lash line and really smudge it out underneath of my eye. I want this to look very dark, deep, and sultry. So I'm even applying a little bit more on my eyelid where it might have gotten a little crackly and then smudging and smoking out that black with some more red using the eyeshadow that we used before, making sure to blend it all around the perimeters of that eye just like we did before. What I love about this Halloween makeup look is that it requires minimal products to achieve and you can use most products from your own makeup collection. We only really use three eyeshadows and a gel liner to achieve this smoky eye look. And now for the fun part of this tutorial, I'm going in with my Mayron 30 color face paint palette. I'm just using this red shade out of all of these beautiful bright rainbow colors. And I'm taking the red shade using a Morphe M250-1 brush. You can use an eyeliner brush or any type of fine detailer brush, even a paint brush will work. And we're just going to start to create these broken blood vessels, broken capillary and veining all around the perimeters of my eyeballs. This is the part of the tutorial where where you can really get creative and have fun with it. Honestly, if you want to perfect this technique, just slam a cup of coffee beforehand and let the jitters do all the work for you. <laughs> I think the trick is to have a light hand and try not to do all of it in one foul swoop. Just take your time, get a feel for it beforehand, and then go crazy, go wild with it. What technique I felt worked best for this makeup tutorial was just to start with one vein initially and then start to branch them out from one another into fine little tiny branches, just like the branches on a tree. So use the trees as your inspiration. <laughs> Here I'm just doing the same technique on my other eye.
And then I decided I wanted to highlight my nose, so I'm going in with the ABH Sweets Glow Kit. I'm using a mixture of marshmallow, taffy, and butterscotch. And I'm applying all three of those to my cupid's bow, tip of my nose, and bridge of my nose using Morphe's Y22 brush. So I was loving how this eye look was turning out. I felt super spooky and dark and demented. Next up, to finish off these eyes, I'm going to pop on some false lashes. These are by Eyelore, and this is part of their Silk Effect line. And the style I'm using is Marquee. Now for the part of this Halloween makeup tutorial that brought everything together, the Coagulated Blood Gel by Mayron. This stuff is super awesome. It is thick and viscous, about the consistency of honey, and it doesn't tend to move or stray on your face once you apply it. And this shade is the Dark Venus Blood. They also have an Arterial Blood, which is more of the bright red, like the face paint I use. So I'm just using the applicator itself to try to drag this product on the underside of my eye in that same veining type of pattern so that it almost looks like I'm crying blood. So I'm just gonna tap this product on the underside of my eye all around, pretty much right over top of where I applied the black eyeshadow and dragging it down onto my cheeks. And then what I found worked best to really smudge out this product was just using a Q-tip to really prompt that gel where I wanted it to go. So I just wanted to achieve that teardrop effect on the underside of my eye and then to really tie in the blood all around, I'm using that Q-tip just to smudge and dab and blot that coagulated blood gel all around my eyes. I wasn't for sure how much of this blood gel I was gonna use at first, but once I saw how easy it was to work with and how cool it looked once it was on, I just went kind of crazy with it. This is another part of the tutorial where you can customize it to yourself. You can do as little or as much of this blood as you want. And if there are any areas of the veining that you weren't particularly happy with, just use some of this blood gel to cover it up I absolutely loved how all of this blood turned out on the face. It looked super wet, super dark, and it was hard to tell where the eyeshadow started and the blood started. It was kind of overlapped and it gave the eyes a really wet look as well. Then I decided to go in and finish up the look with my lips because this is still a glam Halloween makeup look despite all the capillaries and blood on her face. So to outline the lips, to really define them, I'm going in with this ColourPop lippy pencil in the shade Bichette, which is a deep, sultry wine red. And then to fill in those lips, I wanted to go with a bright matte red. So I'm using Ofra's Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade Atlantic City, which is a really beautiful blue-based red. So it's also going to make our teeth look super white. If 
if you want your lip line to look super duper sharp, you can also take some concealer and just line the perimeters of your lips to give a super sharp defined look, which is exactly what I'm doing here. And then last but most certainly not least, we had to add a little bit more blood. This was a last minute decision on my part, but I thought it brought the whole look together and it looked super dope once it was all said and done. I'm just applying the blood gel to my lip and then blending it out with a little tiny Swisper sponge, Swisper sponge if you saw my last video, so that it almost looks like I've been gnawing on some dead flesh. So I just started out with a minimal amount of product and built it up slowly because I really loved how it looked and I wanted more and more. And I just love how wet and glossy this product stays. It really catches the light and makes it look that much more gory and intense. And then to keep it on the Halloween theme, I'm applying a little bit of lash glue to my earlobe so that I can adhere these gorgeous little Swarovski skull rhinestones. They're technically for nail art, but I thought they would make really cute earrings for this makeup look. So here they are in action. They catch the light really beautifully. They made really great little makeshift earrings for this Halloween spooky makeup look. So after you're finished with the veining and the blood around your eyes and on your lips, you're all finished. If you love this Halloween makeup look, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you can come back and see my next Halloween makeup look that's going to be coming out on Halloween. So thanks again for watching guys and I'll see you on the next one. Bye! Happy Halloween!